今年九月二十一号是第二十七个国际和平日。联合国秘书长潘基文昨天以手机短信的方式呼吁全世界的人民携手为战胜冲突、饥饿和贫困以及维护人权而努力。为迎接国际和平日的到来，联合国纽约总部昨天举行了传统纪念活动。一九八一年，联合国大会通过决议，将每年九月第三个星期二联大开幕的日子定为国际和平日。The sound of the peace bell echoes through the grounds of the United Nations as the organization marks the International Day of Peace, which is commemorated every year on 21 September. After Secretary General Ban Ki Moon rings the peace bell, the UN singers perform "Song of Peace." Ladies and gentlemen, the United Nations Singers is a choral group made up of employees and former employees of the UN headquarters in New York. It is a self-funded group that receives no financial support from the United Nations. Affiliated with the UN Staff Recreation Council, the UN Singers date back to the earliest days of UN history, when its headquarters was located at Lake Success, Long Island. There, in 1947. A small group of staff members started to meet and share music from their homelands. Over the years, the UN singers began to formalize their group and to perform at events in the UN building and locally in New York City. Their performances in colorful native costume became so popular that the group still maintains that tradition. Today, the UN singers have about 60 members from 25 different countries. Their repertory consists of folk songs, carols, and choral music in more than 50 languages. The singers receive invitations to perform at a wide range of functions in New York and across the world, from cultural festivals to nursing homes and orphanages, to official events where the Secretary General and other top UN officials are in attendance. In the last few decades, the group has become very organized and active. Nearly every year, they accept an invitation to perform abroad. Since its inception, the group has visited dozens of countries, including the United Kingdom, Spain, Argentina, Hungary, Belgium, the Netherlands, Canada, the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, Japan, and Germany. In late April and early May of 2010. The UN singers hope to visit China for the first time. As members of the UN community, the singers are eager to join the UN team and present a multilingual performance inside the UN pavilion. In addition to performing at the pavilion, the group would also like to discuss the possibility of performing at other events inside Expo Park. Wherever they perform, the UN singers strive to inspire audiences by sharing beautiful traditional songs from all corners of the world. Through music, they would convey a message of tolerance and celebration of other cultures and religions. Next year, the singers would like to bring this message to China. Performances not only in the Expo Park but also at other venues in the Yangtze River Delta of China are a possibility. China Telecom, an official partner of Expo 2010. Has expressed interest in sponsoring the UN Singers Tour in China. However, any support from you, the UN agencies, would be highly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, the UN Singers look forward to performing in the historical event in Shanghai in 2010. Let's celebrate the world's music at our upcoming performance in China. <laughs>